Hey boys and girls, it's Friday. Whoop, whoop. It is Friday and I have a special guest. Like I said, I would. Who do we have here? Meep, 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 meep. We have Beaker. Oh, and you know what's so fun? We're actually going to use a Beaker. Beaker. What rhymes with Beaker? What about... Ooh, okay, here we go. Sneaker. Everybody say sneaker. We've got beaker and sneaker. Okay. So today we're going to do part the part two. Can everybody show me two? The is in French. Two. Two of our experiment. Yesterday we made what? Mars balls. Here's your Mars. Here's my planet. You see my planet? Probably needed to make the red a little bit more going all the way around, spread it around, but that's okay. Now, with your planet, you will determine what happens when you add vinegar. So I've already poured my vinegar. Ooh, it kind of smells funky. Now, one thing when you're working with chemicals, scientists always use these. What are these called? What are these called? Let's give ourselves some think time. What are these called? Am I going fishing? Am I getting a suntan wearing sunglasses? Start with a G. They're called goggles. Kind of like Google. You go on Google, it's like Googles, but it's called goggles. Goggles. So you want something to protect your eyes, okay? You want something to protect your eyes. So these are a little tight. Luckily, I'm not going to wear it long, but you can always adjust it if you go over here. You can kind of pull it. And I also have my hair back. So if you're a girl and you have hair, you might want to get that out of your face. Okay. So on to the experiment. Now, good scientists experiment. So before we begin, here is the cause or the hypothesis. What happens when we add vinegar to our planet, which was made of baking soda and water? So what do you think would happen? Give yourself some think time. Would it do nothing? Would it become soft? Would it become more liquidy with like when we added water? Hmm. You ready to find out? Okay. But before we find out, here's what we need to do. We need to draw a picture of what your planet looks like now in your science journal. So let's get your science journal and draw a picture. Here's my picture. Let me show you. Okay. So I drew a sphere shape, but you can't see it because it's on paper, but it's as good as it gets. Then I colored it what mostly color? Red, because Mars is mostly red. That's right. Now, I wrote a little spot here, and it says after, because this is what it looks like before, and this is where we will draw a picture of what it looks like after, okay? So, if you need to pause the video to go ahead and do that, you can do that. Alrighty. Now that you're back, let's do the experiment. Here it is. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. I can't wait. I've got something to protect my eyes. I have the uh, planet and now I have the vinegar. Here we go. <gasps> What's happening? Oh my goodness. What's happening to our planet? Oh my goodness. It is, there's a word for this. It's called dissolving. It is dissolving. It is becoming smaller. So, pause the video if you need to and go ahead and do that experiment. <gasps> what happened to yours? Did it dissolve too? Now, if it didn't, then just give it some time or you might want to put a little more vinegar, okay? So, 
It's kind of like a soupy looking. Now this is a chemical, so we want to make sure we keep it away from our eyes. Why do you think that happened? I'm going to tell you why. It's called a chemical reaction. When two chemicals come together, they have a reaction. And this was the reaction, right? It dissolved. So now what are we going to do? Draw a picture of what it looks like after. <gasps> Did you draw a picture of it? Okay. Now it says, was your prediction correct? Yes or no? And did you like this experiment? So what did we do? We determined what happened when we added vinegar to our planet. And was your prediction correct? Tell me in the notes. Now, because this is our last day to talk about Mars, I thought it would be fun to watch a couple of quick little videos about more fun facts with Mars. Okay. So stay tuned for the bonus. Here comes the bonus. Oh, Beaker. Have you been here the whole time? Has he, was he here, here, here the whole time? Well, why didn't you say anything? Meep, 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 meep. Oh, that's right. He's shy. Okay. Did you like that experiment, Beaker? Meep, 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 meep. He did. And why do we do this, Beaker? Oh, we do it because we are not alone in the universe and because scientists experiment. Meep, 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 meep. He has to go to the bathroom, speaking of experiment. He's going to experiment what happens when he voids his bladder. <laughs> All right, let's go on to the video. <laughs> Mars, the fourth planet from the sun, is the second smallest planet in the solar system, larger only than Mercury. Mars, as one of the five planets visible to the unaided eye, has been known to astronomers since ancient times. It was first recorded by ancient Egyptian astronomers about 4,000 years ago. Mars is often called the red planet because of its reddish color. Modern astronomers know that Mars is red because of large amounts of iron oxide or rust in the rocks and dust on the surface. But in ancient times, people associated its red color with warfare. That is why Mars was named for the ancient Roman god of war. Mars is a small, rocky planet, the last of the planets of the inner solar system. It is about 141 million miles, or more than 227 million kilometers from the sun, so it gets less than half as much sunlight as the Earth does. Temperature. You are looking at the solar system. We are going to take a look at Mars. Do you want to join? It is the fourth planet in the solar system. Grab on, we're headed that way. We are now on Mars, the red planet. We call it that because of its color. The name comes from the Roman mythological god of war. Mars is similar to Earth. It has seasons, volcanoes and mountains, but it is smaller and it doesn't have water. There are many wind and sand storms. Be careful and protect yourself. You can get blown away. Hello, Earthling. I welcome you to Mars. In the past, there was water in the depths of Mars. But it hasn't been confirmed if there is life or not. Although, some of NASA's photographs show possible life presence. I will tell you some interesting things about it. Due to the high volcanic activity, the mineral tritimite is formed. One of its 
Do we have volcanoes on Earth? Yes, we do. In the state of Hawaii, that's one of them. It is three times taller than Mount Everest. Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. Phobos keeps getting closer and closer and will eventually crash into Mars. Did you know that the first person to see Mars with a telescope was Galileo in 1610? Did you like our quick trip around Mars? Now, you can go back to Earth to share what you've learned. Have a good trip. All right. And I wanted to show you this picture. So this is the sun. And then one, two, three, four. Mercury is fourth from the sun. So we're closest to Earth. So... Um, not we are. We are on Earth. We are Earthlings. Mars, the planet Mars is closest to Earth. That's us. Okay. All righty. Beaker. Oh, you're back from the bathroom. Do you want to say bye to everybody? Did you have fun learning about space this week? You have fun learning about Mars? That's one of the planets in our solar system. Meep, meep. I think he did. All right, that's it for me. Have a wonderful weekend, boys and girls. And remember that good scientist experiment. So even if you're not experimenting at school, in fact, I want you to go out and experiment at your house. Think about what you could do. Ask mom or dad. Say, oh, can we experiment today? Watch what they'll say. Their eyes will light up and they will go, yes, let's experiment. And they'll find an experiment for you. you can, there are so many resources you can find experiments uh, when you go online. Um, or different books you can check out from your public library. Okay? Alrighty. That's it for me. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys.